What's good, y'all? This your boy, Tony the Finesse Guy, man. And I just want to talk to y'all about this little situation with Lonzo Ball getting into it with his dad. I'm a big fan of the show, man. And um, it's crazy, man, because I felt like I felt like it was going to happen sooner or later. You know what I mean? And I'm happy to see that he's finally putting his foot down. You know what I mean? And telling him, like, hey, man. You know, well, not really, because, you know, he, he really got to have that conversation with him. But, like, look, man, I'm my own man. You know, if this is going to be your brand, let this be your brand. But I'm going to do my own thing. And if you respect me as your son and as a man, then you know what I mean? Uh, you're going to respect my decision. You know what I'm saying? But LeVar Le Le Ball has too much control over his kids. And I hate to say, you know, it's good that he's respecting his father and everything like that. But at the end of the day, he's still a grown man. You know what I mean? And he's just going to, you know, keep on coming at him like this is going to fuck up that relationship to where he not even probably he probably not even going to ever talk to his dad and um i'm a big fan of the show man and uh you seen that that his younger brother moved in with him jello you know what i'm saying moved in and i'm pretty be pretty sure because lavar's you know he don't get a man his space you know what i mean he gotta have his own room gotta have time for his rehab time to, you know, have have a peace of mind without his dad always up in his ear, you know what I mean, he's got to learn how to back off a little bit, they grown men, you know what I mean, now Melo, he's the youngest one, I understand with that, because he's still a child, but with these other two, they grown ass men, you got to treat them like that and let them do their thing, oh yeah, and shout out to my 65 subscribers, man, I done came up 65 subscribers in three weeks, so like, that's a big deal to me, I know it's only 65, y'all probably laughing at me, but fuck you. Might have another 65 by next week, you know what I mean? But let's get to this video real quick, man. So, what do you want to get out of the meeting today? Oh, I ain't worried about getting nothing out of the meeting. Is everybody gonna meet? And we're gonna do it my way anyway. So, what's the big deal? Come on, sir. See, we're going to do it my do it my way. You know what I mean? And it's not all about you. If this is supposed to be a family business, you got to let other people give their opinion. You know, it can't be all about you because that's not fair to everybody else. You know what I'm saying? If this is a family brand, let everybody come in on it collectively. Somebody needs to really sit down and have a talk with this man. <laughs> meeting with Joe today. Do you think that things are good? Uh, no. <laughs> no. What's up? Damn, man, see how you mess up a whole meeting, the handshake and everybody. Do you even know what you're doing? Do not worry, sir. I also fix cars. Seen it? Covered it. At Farmers Insurance, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. A little mellow, man. His ass so goofy. But my honestly, I think he's the best baller out of all the ball brothers. I think he's going to, you know, he's going he's gonna to be the, he's going to, uh, I gotta say, he's gonna be the best player at all the Ball Brothers. He's gonna make it to the league, probably be an All Star. The boy can ball. I'm just saying, and he's got a shot. Nice little crossover. He's, he's still growing. I'll make a video on that later. Here's the thing that got me twisted. Chris is like, LeVar, I understand it's always your son, but on that phone, it don't sound like he's ready to roll with us. That's that's the bottom line for this meeting today. That's all this is. As much as there's naysayers, negativity, haters, all warranted, what y'all got is still strong as hell, man. I got people who send me pictures now every time they see a kid wearing it across the country they think, I saw a BBB shirt. Y'all moved a lot of effing product in 18 months. But now we got to rebuild it and we got to get that trust back. What do you think it'll take to relaunch Triple B and have it be a company you put your stamp on? I think it would take a lot. You know, honestly, we got to start from the ground up, but it's tough going against my dad. Sometimes he's stuck in his ways, but if it can't work, then I don't think it's going to work, then I'm not going to go through it. We have to get on the same page, and I just want to know either you on or off. 
You can't be on the fence. And I like this new dude that they done hired. He seemed like he came up with a good uh, game plan. You know, as far as them getting back to the basics, you know, doing what they did before and how they all got started with this whole thing. Uh, I think this is a good hire by LeVar Ball. He did make a mistake, but we all humans, we all make mistakes, so it is what it is, you know? Now, would you change the name? Hell no, I wouldn't change the name. I'm just saying from a marketing standpoint. From a marketing standpoint, regardless of what it is. I'm just saying, that's yeah. my opinion. I'm no, just asking a question. I'm just saying. Triple B is always going to be the name. On the fact that it also stands for the three ball brothers. I'm not changing that at all. What is your opinion on that? I don't give a about his opinion. I just want to hear it. But no, 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 listen to me, son. When I come up with a name and then somebody tell me to change it, that's like me telling me to change your name. That's like people saying, oh, yeah, hey, don't change Lonzo's name and Alfonso on the fact that he's been damaged goods for the last two years. I see that's, that's, that's where I had a problem, man. You know what I mean? When he's happy with him, he's uplifting him, even when he's playing bad. But when he's not getting it his way, you know, he's he's shit-talking him. And that's real fucked up. Like, that's that's foul, man. To me, it, it was foul, you know? And he's been, since I've been, you know, watching the show lately, the past two episodes, it seemed like he's been throwing a lot of shots at him, you know, taking a lot of shots at him. And that's his son. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't be like this. Hopefully this business and all this money don't come between this family because I really like this family, man. The brand is demolished right now. The brand is not demolished. Okay. Okay. That's how you feel the brand is demolished. That's everybody feel. Who? Who's everybody? The world. The, the world? That's, that's the consumers you talk to? Yeah. It's all messed up right now. Why is it messed up? Because one person did something bad? He was the main person. He wasn't the main person. He ran everything. Dang it. He didn't run everything. Right. Who don't want to sign an autograph? Who don't want to take the pictures? He you set it all up. That means you're running everything as far yes. as what? Who's the big baller brand? Right, yeah. Ain't no Alan Foster gear. It's big baller. Here's the thing. If you have a goddamn tree and a bad apple falls off the tree, you don't chop the goddamn tree down. He was more than apple, though. See, I understand what he's saying. He's saying, don't let one bat out. You know, fuck up the whole program. You know what I mean? And I think they can bounce back. And this is before the Lakers trade. Um, you got a whole new market now. So, um, I think, I think I was even thinking about buying some big baller stuff just because I like the family and he was a Laker. You know what I mean? But after he did his little track, y'all see my video on that too. After he did his little track, I was like, mm, not too sure about that. You know what I mean? But I definitely think they should, uh, Keep the brand, keep the name, because that's that represents them as a family. You know what I mean? Branch. Cut the branch. You don't cut the whole tree down. The tree did fall down. Man. How did the tree fall down? So why are we restarting everything? How did the tree fall down? I created it before Alan even got here. I said the three ball brothers for you guys. I don't care who helped me get this started, but I come in with the vision. Like, you know what? We're going to have our own brand. That's why I didn't go everybody else's way. All right, you got it. You got it, man. You got it, man. No, this is, no, first of all, don't, don't say you got it, man, to me. Is this meeting starting to spiral? I mean, yeah. You know, tempers is flaring. You know, you got pretty much two grown men disagreeing about something. If you're mad, that's on you, but you ain't got to take it out on me. Where do you think Triple B goes from here? I don't, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, that's a really good question. I don't know. Everybody has their own mindset on things about what they want to do, and if it does get resolved, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So I don't. I don't know. You the one gotta make it grow. I made you guys superstars for a reason. But if I don't do the things that I'm doing, Zell, you're just another regular old player. Shut this thing down. I had 10 brothers and two sons, but I wasn't poke. We're going to the compound in Compton, which is Big Hank's apartment. <laughs> so it's nice going back. Mario still work. Ain't no way that still work. Yes, he do. He still work. Yes. He's still kicking, ain't he? I told you. Ain't got rid of the Panthers yet. No, I can't go. <laughs> is it kind of like going into a time machine? A little bit, yeah. Everything's pretty much the same. They can't do this like I did. <laughs> I 
I'm expecting some big trades because teams desperately want to get deals done. I've been mentioning the trade rumors since I've been with the Lakers, so ain't nothing new for me. It is now official. Lonzo Ball has indeed been traded to New Orleans. What's your initial reaction about the trade? Who cares? We go high. Because you leaving and you leaving. I gotta see what I'm gonna do now since Zoe's leaving. No. no boys in play. How do you feel about the trade and potential move to New Orleans? As far as like moving and stuff, I think it's too early to make a call yet. No, you can't save everybody. So does this mean it's kind of the end for Zoe and LA? You are watching Ball in the Family. <laughs> Follow us. Hit that button. <laughs> what are you waiting for? So I'm excited about the next episode um, to see how he reacted to the trade and everything. You know, I know he's pretty upset about it. Hopefully they throw when he's in the studio and he made the song about the Lakers. But, um, yeah, man, uh, like I said, man, I, I want to hear y'all opinions. You know, I know y'all watch my videos and everything, but I want to see what y'all got to say about this. So like, comment, and subscribe. When you, when you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell button so you can get more notifications on my videos. Check out my Instagram, my Facebook. The link will be below down here uh close to the comment section but um yeah man i want to hear y'all opinions too so uh yeah let me let me know what y'all think about this all right